scoreboard explosion through two quarters. Will it be more the same as we get set to start the second half? Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. Brad, the sidelines were electric in the entire first half. Looks like the guys are really having fun and are wrapped up in this tight game. I haven't seen this much cheering in a long time. Both teams seem to be marching the ball up and down the field. Guys? He steps up. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's looking to pass. And down he goes at the 28. From their own 28-yard line. It's third down. Under pressure. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Looking to throw. Throwing right. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. He's at the 30. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. Superb effort, and really, when it matters most, these guys don't want to give up points so easily. Second and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down around the 17-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He scrambled. And they make the stop at about the nine yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Tyson set to go to the air. And the defense comes through. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. That's a great play by the defense. They'll start at the nine-yard line. Penn State is up by three. Fleming looking to throw on first down. Going deep. Tipped away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own nine. What? Graham takes a handoff. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. What? 
On play action, under heavy pressure. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. But those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a ball carrier. Second and nine. Ball on the 34. And they'll run him again. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Penn State has a three-point lead. Hand off to the back. Look out. Makes it to the 37. Game of 20 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 18. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today.